Um, I am Sister Colette Marie of the Proclairs in Cork and I'm originally from Tipperary. So um, as Proclairs we belong to the Franciscan spiritual family and we were in close contemplatives. Um, so how did I come to answer my call to be a Proclair? Um, I think there were two strands really. Firstly, I came from, or I grew up in a very good Catholic Christian environment. Um, my family, my parish, I met excellent priests, I was taught by very good Mercy Sisters. Um, so I had that great advantage of a good Catholic environment growing up. And also um, the Legion of Mary was part of my life for, for several years. And also in, at an inward level, um, friendship with Jesus was important to me, even as a young child. Um, so that, that was, that's two important strands, I think, for me. Um, then, um, I think the role of Our Lady was also important in my life. As I said, I joined the Legion of Mary and um, I entrusted myself to her in my late teens. I made an act of entrustment to her, which is part of the spirituality of the Legion of Mary, that Jesus entrusted himself to Mary when he came among us as a baby and as a child. And it's, it's, um, it's good as a follower of Jesus to do as he did and entrust yourself to her. So I think my trusting of myself to Our Lady she showed me my calling to become um, a proclaimer within the Franciscan family. And she has shown herself a mother to me in a quiet, hidden way throughout my life. Um, I think Our Lady often works in, in a quiet, hidden way. Um, I think as a proclaimer, answering the call is actually a daily part of life. Um, for every Christian, there's a daily answering of the call and that's part of the life of a poor Clare. Our life, there's a hidden aspect, an aspect of faith, and then there's the, the dimension of community life. They're all important parts of the life of poor Clare. It's a life of prayer, primarily within the church. That's all important for both Francis and Clare to be part of the church. And that's important for us here in Cork as well. And um, um, so there are um, some important aspects of the life to answer the call is a daily commitment a daily challenge and also then I would say if you are thinking of a vocation I would say to you to pray and that's um, because it is a call from God and God is the one who will show you in prayer what your calling is and secondly take some steps um, in the sense of making contact with an order or a congregation that you feel drawn to and um, meet, meet people and talk to them and um, get involved in some way in, um, in your parish life, in church life. Um, any calling um, takes place within and is part of the church. So whatever you are called to, it's, um, it's, a, it's a personal call and it's also a call to be part of the church and to belong to the church. So I would encourage you to get involved in some way um, in social action or in a prayer group or some aspect of your faith and also to um, get to know your faith better. That's important too, that we grow in our faith. We're living now in a different culture from the one I grew up in. You may not be in a Catholic environment, but you can help yourself by joining groups that are committed to the faith, that are part of the church. And uh, I would encourage you to do that. God bless you.